In this video, we will study about polysaccharide. We have already studied monosaccharide and oligosaccharide in our earlier video. Polysaccharide, they are formed by condensation of many mon monomers. These number of these monomers, they may be in thousands. Now polysaccharides, they may be categorized as homopolysaccharide or the heteropolysaccharide. As the name is indicating homo, same type of monosaccharide, they condense to form a polysaccharide. On the other hand, there may be certain amino group or the protein group in heteropolysaccharides. Uh, the most common homopolysaccharide are starch, glycogen, and cellulose and some of the common well-known heteropolysaccharide they are chitin or chitin and the mucopolysaccharide so let us study about these starch as we all know that Starch is the store form of food in plants. A large number of glucose molecules, they combine by 1,4-alpha glycosidic linkage to form starch. So we can extend this chain and this gave us the structure of starch. Starch exists in two different forms. When this straight chain get coiled like this, then this is called amylose. So amylose, this is helically coiled chain. And we all know that Starch give blue black color with iodine. Why? Because these halix can hold iodine in them and this give the blue black color. So only one four alpha glycosidic linkage is there in the amylose chain. But there is another form of starch also that is called amylopactin. In amylopectin, along with the straight chain, there are branch chain also, like this. And the number of glucose molecule are also used, maybe 2000 to 2 lakhs. Now, how are these branch chain formed? We know that straight chain is formed by the 1,4 alpha linkage. But how is branch chain formed? Let us see. So let us draw some glucose molecules. First of all, a straight chain combined by 1,4 alpha linkage like so on. Now let us draw here one other glucose molecule showing carbon, all carbon position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 1 on the CH2OH, right? So HOH, HOH like this. Note down all these also. Similarly, there is also right number you can number the carbon atom here also so one two three four five and six right so there is hydroxyl group at carbon one there is hydroxyl group at carbon six right so again a condensation reaction will occur here right and due to this a water molecule is released so what type of the linkage is going to be formed here now let us check
Now, check the carbon number. This was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So now look at here. This is carbon number 1. This is carbon number 6. So 1 and 6, they are involved in this branch chain. So this linkage is called alpha 1, 6 linkage. So remember, straight chain is formed by alpha 1, 4 linkage. And the branch is formed by alpha 1, 6. Straight 1, 4 and branch 1, 6 linkage. Remember this. Glycogen. Glycogen, this is also called animal starch. Though the number of glucose molecule are less here, this is 5000 to 30,000. This is the stored form of glucose in our body. Then how this is different from the starch? The only difference in starch and glycogen is there that it has more branching. This is highly branched structure. More bush like. More branches are there like this. Many branching are there. So that gives us the structure of glucose. This is not forming the helical structure like starch. So it doesn't give blue black color with the iodine. In fact, this gives a red color with the iodine. Cellulose. Another polysaccharide. And we all know that cell wall of plants, they are made up of cellulose. And this is the most abundant organic molecule on the earth. How this is formed? This is also made up of glucose molecule only. Then how it is different from the starch? The difference is in the type of bonding. In case of starch, we have done that there is one six, one four alpha linkage but in case of cellulose there is one four beta linkage this is the difference between cellulose and starch in starch alpha 1 4 linkage and in cellulose beta 1 4 linkage now sometime question may be asked that cellulose is also made up of glucose starch is also made up of glucose we can digest starch but we cannot digest cellulose. Why? Because our enzyme, amylase, can break down the alpha linkage but it cannot break down the beta linkage. This is the reason that we cannot digest cellulose. Now we move to heteropolysaccharide. And one such heteropolysaccharide is chitin or chitin, also known as complex polysaccharide. This is found in the cell wall of all fungi. And this is also found in exoskeleton of cockroach. Why this is called complex or the heteropolysaccharide? Because this is 
polymer of an acetyl glucose amine. This is the reason that this is called a complex polysaccharide. Another one is mucopolysaccharide. There are many types of mucopolysaccharide like pectin, agar agar, hyaluronic acid, heparin, These are different type of mucopolysaccharide and many of these they act as lubricant also. So again these are also formed by condensation reaction between the galactose or galactouric acid or arabinose with certain amino acids they form the mucopolysaccharides.